What's crazy is five hours of rain changes community forever. We just started getting phone calls and text messages. We didn't know what was going on. So we pulled onto our street and immediately we saw two houses on fire, houses floating away, uh, hundreds more flooded. I mean, there were, it, there were rapids. I mean, that's how quickly the water was moving. People on roofs, people crying out for help. It was, it was one of the strangest sights to ever leave your house and see. You know, I got the call from my elementary principal and said, hey, I'm going to the school, the creek's rising. So I was still, I tried to sleep in, I went to the ball game in Camden and I came in and uh, it just happened so fast. We started sandbagging and, and, and within 10 minutes, it was taking the truck down in front of Waverly Junior High School when we were trying to sandbag. So it was, uh, it came up quick. It was devastating. Um, we knew that we had to do something. So we found a uh, back road to the church and before the electricity cut out, we tried to put a message out to our community that this will be a safe place to come to. You know, right now, they, they don't need any extra burdens. This community is, is, is you know, they've lost all their uh, IDs, all their uh, identifications and their purses, their wallets, and uh, right now, just uh, you know, anything to make it easier on, on those people where they don't have to go and wait in some lines in, in, you know, in another county uh, uh, to, to get those IDs back to apply for different assistances or, or just about anything. You've got to have that ID and uh, anything to come in and help, help, help us, that, that, that it's a wonderful thing. So today, uh, you know, of course my mom was in the flood in Waverly, the tremendous devastating flood, and she's lost every single thing in her world, even her driver's license. So today we had to come out and get our driver's license taken care of for her. And this place has just been awesome. It's in McEwen, set up at the McEwen School. And I mean, it's been really awesome because they took care of us within minutes, maybe even seconds. But yes, it was really fast and convenient. And my mom's got her uh, driver's license, so she's able to be able to prove who she is. She's in the small town, small communities, and, and now, you know, with different states coming in to assist in, in what we've got going on here with this small community. It's just uh, that that that's what's wonderful to see. Everybody's rallying together, and you know, nowadays the, the you know we've got everybody's kind of divided, but right now they're not. They're all together to help help our, our, our people in this community, and that, that's what's uh, that that's good to see, even though it is tragic. The state is starting to kick in and help with more and more. It's been special to hear from Las Vegas, from Minnesota, from all over the country, and it's been really special. Just the counties around Tennessee coming this way and all of the organizations and churches, like I'm on a text thread right now, does anybody need anything? We have too much of this. Uh, does anyone have a need right here? Are you short on this? People coming together and pushing absolutely everything possible aside for the need of others. I know it's what's expected, but it's really what's happening. Uh, right now, we're trying to to heal heal our our whole community. You know, they've lost everything. They've lost their loved ones. And uh, how do we rebuild that is, is is on my mind. It's weighing on my shoulders heavily. Uh, you know, the, the THP's coming in, and, and they've helped tremendously. They've got a station up there by the courthouse, and uh, they're assisting in all all the, the the local law enforcement. And it's been it's been super. Just everybody pulling together. It really has. I'm, I'm, all these different agencies, the directors of schools reached out, you know, what, what do you need? What do you need? And, and that's, you know, that's what Tennessee's about.